I understand that Christmas, the birth of Christ, has gotten mingled with paganism through the years. I, I fully understand that. How else could you explain Santa Claus? And let me tell you how bad Santa Claus is, okay? You asked, so I'm going to tell you how bad Santa Claus is. Santa Claus is the world's counterfeit God. And the reason I say that is because Santa Claus is summed up in, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been good or bad. Really. There is, a, there is another omniscient being in the world. So be good for goodness sakes, because if you're good, He'll reward you. That is a false god of a works righteousness system. Right? That's, that's, that's the devil's lie. Somebody up there is watching you, and if you're good, you'll be fine. That's a works-based concept. And then you give Santa omniscience, and you also find out that he's not righteous because you know you were bad and you got a bunch of stuff anyway. So you can't trust His Word, and He's not righteous. This is just the world creating a kind of children's picture of a false deity. I get all that. I also understand the, the rest of the Falderall, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and all of that has nothing to do with the person of Jesus Christ. And I, I get that it clouds the clarity of the picture of Christ. I understand all of that. But having said all of that, I will say this. God has allowed in human history for the birth of His Son to be essentially a global holiday. Whatever accoutrements have been added to it to confuse it, whatever pagan elements have been added to it, same with the resurrection and Easter and rabbits and chickens and whatever. The, the, world, the, the world may do everything they can to confuse and cover that, but it is still true that at this time of year the whole world is focused on the fact that the Son of God was born into the world. And that reality gives us opportunity to speak the truth into that consciousness. That's all I'm saying. So I think we have to take advantage of these opportunities rather than just condemn. None of us is worshiping a false god. None of us is worshiping Satan. We, but we do understand that while the world is conscious of Christ, we need to speak about Him. Now, about a tree, let me say this. I don't know what pagans do with trees, but I know who made them. God made trees. And to celebrate God's creation and even the birth of Christ with some kind of expression that comes down to a tree is far different than creating an idol because a tree is the handiwork of God. So I just think you have to cut through the garbage uh, that surrounds Christmas and you can celebrate the birth of our Lord because your heart belongs to Him, He belongs to you and clear out the clutter and get to the celebration of Christ and use the opportunity to speak about who He is as long as people are aware of it, okay?